Anyway, so fossils. Okay. Um, first off, some of you guys might say, oh, cool, fossils. I love these. And others might say, well, who cares about fossils? And we just learned about rock layers. Who cares about rock layers? Well, let me tell you why. So first off, fossils and rock layers help teach us about evolution. So a ton of what we know about evolution, any evidence we have for evolution today comes from the fossil record and understanding about rock layers. Anything we know about extinction of, of old creatures, old species comes from fossils and rock layers. And the history of the earth, like a lot of you guys learns that the area we live in today was underneath a bunch of water called Lake Bonneville. Well, the only reason we know that is because of fossils and rock layers. So um, let me show you some real examples of this. So got this horse evolution thing. We got different fossils showing cool parts of a, what we think is a horse skeleton. It shows that horses have evolved over time and you have these years by it. And you remember how we know those different years. Land back to water. Whoa, so you have creatures that live on land and they evolved to live in the water over millions of years. How do we know that? How do people say stuff like that? This creature over millions and millions of years evolved to whales. Interesting thing to say because that sounds ridiculous. Well, the only reason we think that is because of rock layers and fossil evidence. And we even think that things that lived in the water evolved to live on the land. So we've got fossils of this, this creature here. It looks like a fish, Eusthenopteron. And then a few hundred million, well, like tens of millions of years later, you get this guy called Pandarichthys. Looks like a fish with some legs. And this guy called Tiktaalik looks like a fish with legs, eyes on the top of its head with arms and wrist bones. Anyway, this one's kind of a, a big topic you'll learn a little bit more about. But very fish-like, but also very four-legged creature-like because eyes on the top of the head, it's got a flat skull, not a normal fish feature. It's got wrists and elbows and stuff like that, not normal got ribs and things like that, not normal for a fish. Um, then you have this thing called Acanthostega. Looks very much like a swimming four-legged walking creature. Kind of weird. And then Ichthyostega looks like it could go into the water. Look look at those web, web feet. Looks like it easily walks on land. Um, you also see examples of extinction. You have a creature that looks like an armadillo. This is a, a modern armadillo. I, I believe that one's modern. Maybe it's not. But we have this fossil of an, looks like an armadillo. Don't see that anymore. Also, these creatures, you're probably familiar with these. Dinosaurs don't see those anymore. So these are the cool things that we can learn when we look at when we learn about fossils and rock layers.